Hello guys, talking about this little FM transmitter today. Chances are you have already seen this. It's for sale on eBay for a very very low price. You see to the left a little microphone, then an adjustable capacitor and three transistors. Talking about this one here, it's $1.69 on eBay with free shipping. This is incredibly cheap. They, they say here 9 milliamps, 3 volts, and it would work from 2 volt to 9 volt. And the adjustable frequency range would be 85 megahertz to 115 megahertz. And I can tell you this little transmitter is actually much better than it seems. So here's a little close up and I put the traces on it as well to be able to draw the schematic. This is the whole schematic of this little PCB. To the left is the microphone with the bias resistor R1 and the AC voltage is then coupled through C2 to the microphone preamplifier with Q1 and then you have here with Q2 and all these little components here uh, L2 and the capacitors in parallel you have the oscillator the resistors around Q2 these are the bias resistors for this um, oscillator transistor and then with Q3 you have a little amplifier for the RF voltage and last but not least an antenna matching circuit now to the left we can see here this uh, the initial frequency what I measured was adjustable from 87.5 to 114 megahertz now since this frequency range is totally crowded with so many radio stations I would recommend to lower the frequency to the range below 87.5 MHz and this can easily be done by adding a parallel capacitor to C10 I added 10 picofarad here and the lowest adjustable frequency dropped to 80 MHz You can then use an all band receiver or configure your cell phone to this lower range the one I will, the one I used here for this test is a Moto G first generation, but many other phones will be able to do this. Lowering the frequency to below 87.5 MHz will lower your risk of being detected, and you will be able to increase the range since there's less interference from radio stations. This little transmitter will start working from 1.6 volts. At that voltage it will draw 4.2 milliamps about and then uh, if we go up to 3 volts uh, it draws 10.5 milliamps that corresponds more or less to what was shown on eBay going up uh, with the voltage of course will increase the uh, current consumption and also the range at 3 volts you can expect about 300 meter with pretty good reception and then if we go up to 9 volts the range I obtained was about 500 meters with a quarter wave length antenna the way the circuit is configured you can't go much higher than 9 volts because the amplifier transistor will get pretty hot about 60 degrees above ambient temperature that's the little red spot here on this thumb image so here's an example with 3 volts. I went about 200 meters away and reception was still really good. There are several options for battery holders you can use. Here's an example with a 9 volt holder glued to the board. They are also very cheap. Or you could use a 3 volt lithium button cell, but the range will of course be much lower since these batteries are not made for high current draw so their voltage will drop to about 2.5 volt probably so my conclusion is even though this transmitter is not super small due to the size of the battery required it is still an awesome little transmitter with very good range and the audio quality is also really really good yeah thanks you for watching guys and see you soon